Hey everyone, Soundwave84 here. You tired of your Transformers being hollow? You feel like they don't come with enough accessories? I see you there, Earthrise Willjack. So, what you can do is visit tfsafari.com and use these codes right here to grab some upgrade kits for your Transformers and save money while doing so. Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here. I've had a little rough week, been in the hospital, and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And we're going to continue looking at some upgrade kits from Matrix Workshop for your Transformers collection. This is going to be Matrix Workshop's M53 upgrade for your Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. I guess you can guess that because he's standing here, but this is a nice figure already. But we're going to see if we can take it up just a little bit on this one small upgrade here this video here is sponsored by tfsafari.com where i got this upgrade kit from i will leave a link down in the comments below as you saw the little intro video you know you can uh, and use some codes i have to get some money off the upgrade kits from tfsafari.com all those codes will be listed down in the description below and also links to this upgrade kit and to tfsafari.com so M53, you'll come in a little box like this, we'll open it up, and as you can see, it looks like a little Target Master. It is a, a redo of a Firebolt. It's 3D printed upgrade. May I should have opened the uh, Ziploc bag before I started the review. I'm having trouble. We'll pull out your Firebolt, toss the plastic to the side, and we get a 3D printed a little dude right here is going to transform into the target master weapon articulation on this little figure you just got the little hip joint here which is very much g1 accurate for that fact we're gonna do some comparisons of this with some other uh, target masters to show off your size but first take a look at the actual figure and it's very nicely sculpted here, or no, detailed. It's printed out really nice here. Uh, if you're really good at paint, you probably could get in there and touch the eye band up if you want. And add your little few touches you want to add. Like I said, there's no articulation here. Just got the hip, and then the gun piece back here will move as well. Now we'll move Hot Rod out of the way. Oh, we'll so here we go. We're going to do a comparison with Hot Rod. You can see right here, he comes up through a little above his kneecap. We'll move Hot Rod out of the way. And we're going to take a look at comparisons with other Target Masters. Firebolt, and we'll show them off here with the Battle Masters you got in the Siege line. Of course, these Battle Masters here have a lot more articulation. Yeah, you get elbow, not elbows, you get uh, shoulders and you get hips. And each leg and arm is individual of itself. No knees, no elbows, or anything like that. And the heads are fixated. That is your scale right there. You can see figure here. Is shorter and skinnier. So with the original 1987 Target Master, this I believe is from Sure Shot. You can see very much similar. There are no elbow, I mean, no elbows, There's no arm movement, no legs. They're air molded together right here. Only articulation you got is again at the hip right here for transformation. So it's very much in the vein of G1. And last but not least, here is Peacemaker that came with Point Blank from the new Legacy line. Again, very much in the G1 vein. Everything is molded one piece. The only articulation you got is at the hip and the barrel of the gun. Size comparison with that guy, you can see he is much smaller. Not much smaller, but he is smaller than the Matrix Workshop upgrade Firebolt for your Studio Series Hot Rod. Now this could actually go for any Hot Rod as it has your, your standard 5mm port. So if you have Titan Returns Hot Rod, if you have the Power of the Primes, uh, no, Robert's Prime, which has the Hot Rod card, you can use it with that as well. It will go with any of the Hot Rods that support 5mm. Uh, we'll show you what Firebolt G1 looked like compared to this Firebolt. Now to transform the little Firebolt, it's very easy. I'm going to take him here at the hips, bring this around this way. You can see these kind of two little tabs. We're in these two slots right here for robot mode. And you're going to take this right here, bring around, which will reveal the peg. And these two little uh, pieces here will then go into those slots. And you now have that. And now you just bring in your hot rod. Open up his hands. Now if the peg is a little tight, you can take a little bit of sandpaper or something to sand down the tip here. Just play with the tip enough, and we'll just stick this right in his hand. I have not done that. This is just straight from the box. Close his hand up, and there is Hot Rod 
holding his Target Master component partner. And it does support blast effects. I only have this one hanging around. But it does do two as it is a double barrel. So you could actually have two there. The only one I have hanging around is a pretty big one. And it's not the same kind. So it ain't going to fit. But yeah. You can see it does support blast effects. So if you wanted to just bring your hot rod just a little bit up. Make it look like the 1987 Target Master. Which I never had the actual G1 Target Master hot rod. So I never had uh, his Target Master partner. So... That's a nice upgrade for your uh, Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. So if you're interested in this piece here, I will leave a link to this product down in the description below. Plus, with my coupon codes are down there. You can use those so you can buy more kits and save more money. And I want to say thank you for watching this video. And I hope I can do more while I'm at home trying to recuperate just a little bit from my uh, little problem here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next ones. Peace out.